Oh, 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 cutscene. Cutscene. This is very dark and sinister. Oh my god. Oh, this is horrible. This is very... This is, this is so horrible. What's he doing? Oh my god. Oh my god, that's disgusting. That is, that is, that is, that is terrible. Oh, look how happy that guy is, though. Uh-oh. Oh, no, he's got a gun. He's got a gun. No. Oh, he's gonna... No. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Oh, my God. I knew I'd catch you two in here. Edward, I... Oh, it was his wife. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Don't. Just don't. What are you going to do? Uh-oh. Here it comes. Blam. Oh, my God. Oh, Oh, no! Susan! Oh, this is despicable. Oh, Edward. Edward, that's horrible. This is horrible, but this, this, this guy definitely deserves some hard time. What's he doing now? Oh, my God. What's he doing? What's he gonna do? Has he, has he dropped the gun or is he holding it above his head? Is, oh, this is, this is very graphic. Oh, my God. That, that was really sinister. How, how could a cart cartoon figure like that seem so, I don't know dangerous. Crikey, this guy definitely, yeah, definitely deserves some hard time. Clear as day, if you ask me. Deserves every vault he's gonna get. Okay, okay. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Well, it was like the warden said. I, I, I didn't convict him. I'm just, you know, doing a job. Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's a double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. This state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his crime 100 miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Well, uh, I don't really think priest and chief were going to go into a um, an argument about the merits of, uh, of the death penalty and, and the morals behind it, but um, you're welcome to argue your cases. Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. Uh, well, yeah, okay, cool. Oh, oh, incoming call from the CEO. What does he want? Good work so far. However, there is one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet, because it doesn't have any power. Oh no, we need power plants in this game as well, that's just bizarre. We need to connect it to the electricity supply. Oh, okay, okay, well, oh, 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 this looks pretty swish. Oh wow, check this out. I feel like I'm in the Matrix. We are now viewing the prison and utilities mode, which shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. All right, all right. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. Oh, wow, yeah, it looks like um, th these areas are uh, short on power. Do you want me to hook those up? Want to hook up the execution room, CEO? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? I mean, do your job for you, you, you lazy slacker. Power is provided to the prison by this substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. Okay. Oh, wow, that guy's got a beatbox. Oh, no, it was, it was a lunch tray. My bad. Yeah, it looks like we need power over here. As you can see, this entire wing of prison cells is without power. All of the lights are out. Yeah, lights out. It's, it's not that easy. To fix this problem, we first need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. Okay, okay, let's do that. It'd be nice if you showed me how to, to switch to utilities mode, but I'm sure it's quite a simple button to press. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Oh, no. Well, okay. Oh, so you don't actually have to get these big, thick cables right next to the areas? You just If, if we look here, the, the wire itself goes up to there. But, um, yeah, that, that still powers some of the cells that are quite, quite far away from it. That's interesting. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover this wing of the prison. All right, sweet. So, utilities and electrical cable and let's drag it along here and let's stick with the same theme that we've got and uh, let's see 
and also drag it underneath the floor. So we'll go one along there. And then bring it... Oh, 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 no. No, that's, that's the wrong way. But we can... Can we flip it? Oh, yeah, middle mouse. And we can, uh, we can flip the cable. There we go. Excellent. And then I guess I'll just bring it along here. There we go. And then... Oh, 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 look at these guys go with their cables. And then we'll bring the cable, I think, to the side along here. And then down again, underneath the electric chair. Oh, yeah, there we go. And I don't know if I have to actually connect it up on that bit as well so they overlap or not. But, yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll see now. Moment of truth. And here they go with the cable. Oh, yeah, look at that go in. Fantastic. What else have we got here? Water pump stations, capacitors, power stations, power switch, pipe valves. Oh, interesting. So you have to use water as well. You have to connect your facility up with water. Okay, what does the CEO want now? Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does too. Yeah, that's that's that really? Wow. An electric chair that needs electricity? What kind of madness is this? Of course it does, CEO. He's preaching to the choir here. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. Well, hey presto, chief, I've just done it. What are you gonna, what, do you, what do you think about that, eh? The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You need to connect it up directly with mains cables. Well, I just have. I just have. I think. Have I not? I I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Isn't that? That's connected up, isn't it? There we go. Right? Oh, no. Incoming call from the CEO. Here we go. We are almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try and use it, though. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds. Make sure everything is okay. Um, I'm not sure that's a good idea, Chief. Well, actually, no, it is a good idea because... Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Oh, no! Ah! We've lost all power! Well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped a circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison has gone dark. Oh, no. There's going to be riots. People are going to break free. What are we going to do? We're going to need more juice to, hand to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. Oh, so, so how do we do that? What, what, what do you think we should do? First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Okay. Step one. Switch each capacitor back on by clicking on them in the utilities mode setup. Set two, switch the power station back on by clicking on it. Okay. Then, build three more capacitors so we have enough power to handle the electric chair. Okay, okay, I can do that. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it in utilities mode to turn it on. All right, sweet. So, capacitors. Bum, bum. Bum. And we've got to wait for them to get delivered. But while we do, um, let's unclick from... Oh, oh, no, utilities mode. And then we click on the capacitor and switch on. And that capacitor, switch on. And, oh, let's just move up a bit. And that capacitor, switch on. That capacitor, switch on. Um, I think we should put the other capacitors on though first before we um, put the power back on. So let's, oh that's already on, great. Do they need to be on wires though? I'll get some electrical cable actually and, uh, and wire those up. Here we go. Fantastic. And now we just play the waiting game I guess for these other lazy workers to arrive with the capacitors. Where are they? What are they doing? Uh, here we go. Here they, here they are. Here they come. Oh, yeah. That's the business. And there they go. Screwdrivering in the capacitors. Okay, they're in. And they're both on. So now we can click on the power station and switch on. Here we go. Ah, oh, yes. And everything's back up and running. Oh, everything's got power again. Oh, what's this? This doesn't, though. Oh, what, what the hell's going on here? I'm just going to put a power cable there to kind of try and fix that. There we go. 
and and let's head back into uh, into non-utilities mode and try the chair. So we switch it on. There we go. Did that work? Here we are. The CEO is contacting us. Well done. I believe we are finished with the job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job, and that's important in our business. It is very important. Try not to worry about what happens next. Oh God, what does happen next? Oh my God, is that is that our Lord and Savior? No, I think it is. And there's the priest. Oh, dark days. I think we're about to see the execution, guys. Oh my God, this is the chapel or something, I guess. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the prisoner. It's uh, Edward. What's he doing at the chapel? What's going on? Is he being read his last rites at, at a church? It's a bit odd. Can I help you? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, look at him. Look at him clutching his, his rosemary beads. Oh, my God. He's got blood all over him. What What the hell? What's he just done? Or are those spots? Who knows? Bless you, my child. Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. Oh, oh, so this is what happened before he was arrested. Ah, it's a flashback. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you, no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. Well, there we go. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. Oh dear. Dark days, my friend. Dark days. I think your number's up, Edward. It is time, Edward. We're about to see Edward Frazzle. Oh my god, this is this is very dark. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will have the final judgment on you. I wonder what his last meal is going to be. Well, I guess he hasn't had it. Oh dear, oh no, this isn't right. This isn't fair. Where's his hamburger? Where's his steak? Oh dear, here he goes towards the execution chamber. This is very grim. I feel a bit guilty now. I built all this facility and now they're gonna cook Edward, oh my god. Well, time to sit in the chair, Edward. Here we go. Any last words, my friend? I guess not. So the moment of truth. Wait, wait, shouldn't... Oh, oh my god, oh my... Ah, there's, there's a terrorist in the... Oh, no, no, there isn't a terrorist. It's just that guy's wearing a balaclava. Wow, wow, this is really... This is really drawn out. Edward Ramsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Edward, now is the time. Susan! I'm sorry. <sighs> Here we go. No! Oh. It's gone white. Is that... Is that the light at the end of the tunnel, Edward? Wow. I feel really guilty now. What happens next? It's just gone black. Is this the afterlife? Oh. Oh. Oh, looks like press escape to continue. Okay. Is that it? Is that... 
I think that was it, guys. That was the introduction. So there you have it. Edward met his demise. Oh, it was a, oh there's Edward. Dead. There's the priest. Guard 2 and Guard 1. And oh my god, that sinister man in a balaclava. So um, let's switch off the electric chair, I think, now. And uh, and yeah, so this has been Prison Architect. And uh, and stay tuned, because this has just been a, 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 a brief, kind of quick introduction to how the game works. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making my own, my very own prison. And you're going to be able to watch me do it, because this is a really exciting game that I've really been looking forward to playing ever since I got back from Eurogamer. We'll make our own prison facility. We'll have a warden. Everything like that we will be able to design it from the ground up to be exactly how we want it to be. So I've been Stjin, thanks for watching, and, uh, and I'll see you next time for some more Prison Architect. Take care.